friends, can you believe it? We are almost halfway through the season of Lent already. Last week, we heard how Abraham showed his faith and trust in God. This week's Bible character is John the Baptist. John was a unique guy. He wore clothes made out of camel's hair. He ate locusts, ew, and lived in the desert. But God had a very important job for him. Tell people that Jesus is coming to save the world. In fact, two days in a row, when John saw Jesus coming, shouted out, Behold, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. The people who were listening to John would have understood what he was talking about. Well, part of it anyway. In the Old Testament, there are many stories of sacrifices being offered up in the temple as a part of worship. Bringing their special lambs was a way for people to show their faith in God and give him their praise. But these offerings were only a reminder of their sins and need for God in their lives. Only Jesus could make forgiveness of sins and new life possible. When Jesus died on the cross and rose again, no other sacrifices were necessary. Jesus was the one perfect final offering for the whole world. Now, God wants us to respond to his amazing sacrifice of love by the way we live our lives. We gather together to worship the Lamb of God and offer our praise and thanksgiving to him. But it doesn't stop there. In Romans 12, verse 1, in the message paraphrase of the Bible, it says this, so here's what I want you to do, God helping you. Take your everyday ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work, walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. And that is what verse 2 of the Lamb is all about. Jesus is the one perfect final offering and we join heaven in singing his praise. The Lamb, the Lamb, one perfect final offering. The Lamb, the Lamb, let earth join heaven his praise to sing. Worthy is the Lamb, whose death makes me his own. The Lamb is reigning on his throne. Next week, we will see how we, as God's very special lambs, fit into the story of Jesus, the Lamb of God, and Jesus, our Good Shepherd. See you then.